I think we were missing some. We had, I think we counted. We missed eight layups in the first half, and um, and and they could have really, you know, put a spread between us. But our, our guys all year have been battling back, and once we made that last play at the end of the half, and it was a three-point game, you know, nobody was down in the locker room. Um, they came out and they they've done what they've done all year, you know, especially the last two games in the conference championship. They just just got after it, and um, you know that's what they do. That's what these kids do. They play hard. And, and, and they don't let you really breathe. And, you know, uh, I'm really proud of him, especially this guy here. You know, he's, he's pretty much our lockdown defender. And, and Donnie, you know, he's starting to come in his own. He's only a sophomore. And he's, he's blocking shots, grabbing rebounds. And, and defensively, you don't get better than these two. So I'm very excited about, you know, what they did for us. You did uh, coming off the bench, providing a spark 11-5 and five for you. Um, it seemed like everyone was feeding off of everyone. What was it like when that snowball kind of, kind of started rolling and two points became five, became seven, everyone was really feeling it? Uh, the, the points didn't really matter to me. It was more on the defensive end because that's, that's like our pride. That's our pride and joy. And like Coach said, it starts with uh, Garcia over there. And um, I think once we started to put, a, put together some strings of stops, that, that, that's when I felt like you know we were coming into ourselves. And like Coach said, we were a little nervous and we shook the cobwebs off and started to play more like ourselves. And that's when I felt the, t the, the, the game totally changed for us. Coach, I can ask you to dive a little bit more deeply into the defensive thing. When did this team, because I've seen you all year long, when did this team really commit to the defensive end? Because I think early on you were playing decent defense, but it's gone up another couple of notches recently with the CAC tournament and now. What was, was there any turning point? Was there a team meeting? What, what, what changed for this team to really make this their identity? Yeah, I, I think we, we got off to a great start in our conference. You know, we were 10-0 at one point, and then we hit a little bit of a low. And uh, we weren't playing great defense. I think Bloomfield beat us down there. They scored 90, 99 points or whatever. And, um, you know, we just said, listen, we got, we got to turn this around. We, we said, let's, let's break this into three, three and three, which was, you know, three last games that we played. You know, they really bought in, and we won those last three games. So I said, all right, the next three comes, let's go win a conference championship. And they bought into that, and they just came out. And, I mean, we basically really won by 20 in each game, even though the score didn't show that. But they just they were locked in. And, um, you know, I said, eh, now we got three to go. I said, we start the last trilogy today. And then I got a little nervous in the first half. And, but they came out, and, man, they, you know, when they're playing like that, I can relax all I want. It's just that it's fun to watch. It's really fun to watch. John, after that slow start, I think you guys were down, um, down 10 midway through the half. Was there any one moment, maybe in the back end of the first half, early in the second half, that kind of clicked and you were like, okay, we, we got this? Um, <clears throat> well, I mean, going into the locker room, being down three, playing probably our worst half of basketball, <clears throat> excuse me, that's a confidence booster. I just felt like, like uh, Donnell said, we need to string a couple stops together. I feel like... Um, once we got a few stops, that was a wake-up call, like, hey, we're here in the NCAA tournament. We can play to do what we do. Does it give you guys, and, and this is for all three of you, does it, does it give you guys any sort of <coughs> extra confidence when on offense, you know you're still in the game at halftime, DJ hadn't scored, Tavon hadn't scored, and you guys are still right there? Um, yeah, that, that goes back to what I was saying. We played probably one of our worst halves, and we're down three against a very good Merrimack team, and... Our second team player, um, all conference hasn't played. Excuse my voice, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, DJ and Tavon weren't scoring yet, and uh, it's only a matter of time before you know shots start falling. So you just had to hold it down for them. Yeah, I think that that, that you know we went into the locker room and then we realized that we didn't have one three. You know, and they had five threes, and we were only down three. And so that, I thought that really bowled well for us in the second half. You know, we got two good. You know, D DJ, I know we didn't really shoot great today, and Tavon, I mean. You know, they can really shoot the ball. And they, you, you saw that in the conference tournament. And, you know, if they're hot, you know, that makes everything, your Donnie's job a little bit easier. I mean, this guy is the best going through, on the baseline behind zones and, and getting areas. So, uh, yeah, it was just, you know, being down three really, really helped us. That, that basket in the first half really got us going. I got a question for you. Looking at tomorrow's game, it's a Rockland County rock fight up here in New England. Um, I, I was at your game when you played him in the regular season. You had the big comeback, but Tavon Ginyard misses the three in the corner mm -hmm. again. Um, what, how much motivation do you have, not only the NCAA tournament, but because it's Stack, your arch rival from across the street, how much more is that playing into this for tomorrow? Or are you just thinking of it as just another game? 
you know, uh, I haven't really thought about it, but I, I think we're, we're looking at a lot of things that we did uh, during the season. Like when we got to the conference tournament and the semis, you know, Jefferson ended our season last year and we had an opportunity to win it. So our goal was to beat them. And then Bloomfield's been our nemesis and, you know, they just beaten us. So, you know, we want to end that now. Um, you know, stack beat us. So what we've been going with our mantra is those teams that beat us, we want to we, we want to get them back. Mm -hmm. So I, I understand the rivalry and and it, it's going to be fun, you know, because they're, they're from the same area. But we we, we, we want to try to you know do what we've been doing the last few games is trying to beat the teams that beat us. So uh, and I think that's been the, the, their motivation. Did kind of going off that last question? Mm -hmm. You know, you guys got the lead, you kept pushing the lead. Merrimack didn't come back. Right. You know, stack earlier, they were down 19 today in the second half, and they came back and won. So you. They're not just gonna kind of fall, you know. They're not just gonna kind of wilt away down the stretch. So what what will be, um, you know, what's the mentality? What was the mentality like in the locker room after the game? Like we got through this one, you got to double down again because it's gonna be a full forty tomorrow. Well, uh, I, I guess the mentality for like the locker room after the game was the same for the past three games. Um, we treated every game as, as with the same importance. So uh, we we can go back to the Holy Family game. We started off slow there. We came back and we won, and we we were happy, but we always knew. All right, next game. So no matter if it's Stack or whoever like we were going to play, it was, it was always going to be the same mentality. We, you know, we're going to come to play, and they're going to come to play. Regardless, we're going to fight, we're going we're gonna to scrap, and that's not the end of the day. But I don't think we felt any type of different way that it was Stack or anything, but we're going to come to play, and I know they will too. How much fun was today? A lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot. It's our first time here, so I'm trying to make the best out of it. One last question for you, Joe. I know you've been here once before in this town, actually, in the NCAA tournament. What was it like for you, the longtime AD, longtime coach, coming from NAIA to win your first ever NCAA tournament game? Well, to answer that question, we, we went to the national, NAIA national tournament twice. And we, we played the team that won the national championship. And we were, it was a four point game in the first round. With, and we, we ended up losing by 12. But we, we were right there. And then, the next time was the next year after that we played in the NAIs and we had an, a, an opportunity to win with the player of the year on the foul line and he had a one and one and we we're up one and he missed it and they came down almost like Jefferson last year they called a foul uh, kind of a reach in and, and we lost that so you know this this is awesome because I haven't had much luck so you know what I'm gonna enjoy this and hopefully try to get another one <laughs> you know Thank you. 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 Thank you.